Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ms. Ashley, welcome. How long have you been with DEA? Uh, over 30 years, sir. Okay. And you're the acting assistant uh, commissioner or administrator. administrator? Yes, sir. Does that mean you're the number two? No, I'm, I'd say I'm three down, but there, well, and then I the, go lateral. You're within the top five, huh? Top nine? Top five? Top nine, sir. Top nine? Okay. <laughs> um, what, what was your position under President Obama? For a period of time, I was the deputy assistant administrator, and prior to that, I was diversion program manager in the Chicago Field Division. Okay. So you were a senior official? Yes, sir. Um, what was your opinion at the time about the Ensuring Patient Access and Effective Drug Enforcement Act? So if I can clarify, sir, um, I reported under, basically under the end of President Obama's administration in October of 2015. So by the time I reported, all those conversations had already passed and, and, and it was down the road. I appreciate that clarification. You were aware of this act? Yes, sir. When it was a bill? Yes, sir. Were you for it or against it? Um, I was concerned about it, sir. And who, to whom did you express those concerns? It was internally to my staff. Okay. Did you express your concerns to anybody senior? At the time, um, it would have been my immediate boss, who is no longer with DEA. Uh -huh. Did you tell your immediate boss you had concerns about it? Yes, sir, but at the time, um, if I could explain, we had all just reported. It was just a new sweep in management. Mm -hmm. So he was, at, you know, had just begun familiar with the bill, too. So he was not part of those okay. conversations. Among the top ten people at that time when this act was a bill, among the top ten people at DEA, who opposed this bill? Um, sir, I could name names, but none of Please. those individuals are currently at DEA. Okay, name names. Um, the prior deputy assistant administrator, Mr. Joseph Renazizi. He opposed it or was for it? He opposed it. Okay, who else? Uh, it would have been his management staff. Who, I'd like some names if you could. Um, immediately under him, he had a deputy, and, and I would be um, not precise on their time frames or when they were sitting in that chair, but there was a time where he had a deputy assistant administrator. His name was Alan Santos at the time. Okay, who else opposed um, uh, the administrator at the time would have been Michelle Linhart. Uh huh. Um, Who else opposed it? That's all I can think of now, sir. Right, when you think of others, could you write me? Sure, me? sir. All right. Who among the top ten um, ad, uh, 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 managers at, at DEA at the time who who supported it? I wasn't present, so I, it'd be difficult for me to say who Who'd did you, support what, it. No one. I, who did you I, I hear? Didn't, I didn't have a conversation with anyone that told me they supported the bill. Okay, so nobody did, and you were a senior. Sir, I, I'm saying I didn't have a now. conversation with it. It's not that uh, that no one did. I'm 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 not aware of it. Is what I'm saying. Well, somebody had to. I believe you're correct, sir. I, what I'm saying is I I wouldn't know that. I had conversations. With those who well, had who would know that? I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to think of someone who is currently at DEA that would have been part of those conversations. Uh, currently, our acting administrator was not part of those conversations. Myself, uh, in um, my direct, I, I directly report to the principal. Uh, deputy administrator, he was not part of those conversations. I I, and I appreciate it, but, I'm sorry. you know, we're limited on time. Yeah. Tell, tell me who at DEA pushed this bill at the time. Sir, I don't have a name for you, but I, I would like to get back with you if I can make those determinations. I'd, I'd like to do that. Well, see, here's what it looks like to me, Ms. Ashley, and, and, and I, I know... Senator Hatch and Senator Whitehouse, and I don't believe that for a second that they would support legislation over DEA's objection that would hurt people. I don't believe they would do that. I think, I think DEA or somebody DEA 
said this was a good piece of legislation. And now all of a sudden we can't find them with a map or a search party. And I just want to know who did. And if everybody was so opposed to it at DEA, why weren't they raising all manner of hell? Do that she'll, when she has a chance to think about answering a question, she can answer it in writing for you. You want me to shut up now, Mr. Chairman? I was on a roll. <laughs> well, I, we're going to have a second round, so you get another chance. I'll take that as a yes and apologize for going over. Sen Thank you, Ms. Ashley. <laughs> Senator Durbin. Ms. Ashley, I want to thank you for coming today. You're thank a, you, sir. You're a brave American. Uh, you ought to ask whoever made you come for a pay raise. Uh, who else is here with you today from the DEA? Could you just raise your hand? How about who else is here from the Justice Department who works with DEA? Okay. Welcome to all of you. This example cited by Senator Durbin, Ms. Ashley, from Kermit, West Virginia, 9 million hydrocodone pills over two years sent to a single pharmacy in a town of 392 people. Were you familiar with that? Yes, I am, sir. That's breathtaking. The American people are watching this, and let me tell you what they're thinking in my opinion. They don't care about the meaning of the word immediately or imminent danger or they're not interested in the ICO or the DEA or the CSA or the NBA or the NFL. What they want to know is how a federal agency or agencies allowed 9 million hydrocodone pills over two years to be sent to a single pharmacy. Not five, not four, not, one, but not three, but one pharmacy in a town of 392 people. That's 23,000 pills per person. That's 31 pills a day for every man, woman, and child in Kermit, West Virginia. How could you allow that to happen? You, you know what the people of America are thinking? They don't, they don't care how many lawyers can dance on the head of a pen. They, they want to know how we're allowing this to happen. They're, they're asking, what, what planet did we all parachute in from? How could the DEA let this happen? You talked about all the tools you had. Were they not sharp? How, how could this happen? Go ahead. Sir, um, I hear you, and I share... I, I truly share, share your sentiment, and, and so do the men and women of DEA. I have here with me today my son. He's a senior in college, and I hold him very close. He's sitting right here. It, it, um, What's his name? His name is Omari. Omari, welcome. And these types of things, and when you think about when we read the news reports of the individuals who are being harmed the most. It's that age group between 18 and 24. But, I mean, it but, breaks but, my but heart. Ms. Ashton, I agree with you, but how could this happen? So I this can tell you, I can tell you that we have processes. And, and since I hit the deck with my, um, my staff, we have worked very hard to change those processes. Um, could we do some things better? Absolutely, Ashley, sir. We, we have to work hard. Y yes, sir. This is insanity. Yes, sir. I heard Senator Rono say there are 14 billion pills distributed in the United States every year. There are 323 million Americans. That's 43 pills for every man woman, and child in America. 
Yes, sir, and I agree with you. Well, tell we me have what to we need do, to do to we stop have, this. We have to do everything possible. We have to do what we're doing today, having these conversations and developing um, different laws and tools that can, that yeah. can help the DEA and all of law enforcement. I, I mean no disrespect. I meant what I said. I'm, I, I'm so uh, pleased you would come today, but I don't want to keep having conversations. I'd like you to have whoever makes decisions at DEA and Justice to send me a letter and say, this is what we need to do to stop someone from sending 9 million hydrocodone pills over a two-year period to a single pharmacy in a town of 392 people. Yes, sir. I'm happy to do that. Yes, sir. So send a copy.